Congressman Cummings, let's get to one of the questions here. Let's first listen to the Attorney General. He came before this committee back in May. Here's what he said. When did you first know about the program, officially, I believe, called Fast and Furious? To the best of your knowledge, what date? I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. He says over the last few weeks. That is on May 3rd, 2011. Listen to this interview the President of the United States, not the Attorney General, the President of the United States, had with CNN Espanol back in March. There have been problems. Uh, you know, uh, I heard on the news about this story that uh, Fast and Furious, uh, where uh, allegedly uh, guns were being run into Mexico and ATF knew about it but didn't. Uh, apprehend those who had, uh, who had sent it. Eric Holder, has, the Attorney General, has been very clear that he knew nothing about this. We've assigned a, uh, a uh, IG, uh, Inspector General, to investigate it. You realize that the federal government has essentially been arming these cartels. What, what goes through your mind? We feel it's a, it's a betrayal. 42,000 people have been killed, and these weapons that our own government gave, facilitated, to these uh, violent criminals in Mexico, 200 plus people we know have been killed by them. So there's, there's responsibility plus. for that. 200 plus. And we also now have our hero in the Border Patrol, as you know, Agent Brian Terry, killed on American soil. Three guns have been found on, at the murder scene. All three of them were connected to this program. And so for, for us, my, I'm fearful, not just my deputies, other officers, citizens in America, that we're going to be facing the barrels of guns that have been put in the hands of the most violent criminals in North America. And who's going to be held accountable? I want to read something that, that you said or quoted as saying, uh, if somebody gives a gun to somebody knowing they're going to commit murder, guess what we call them? We call them accomplices. D do you think the ATF are, have been accomplices to murder? Absolutely. That so you're saying what no they, they were doing was criminal? When, absolutely. Not, not just the, these individual agents, but people up the chain of command who have made the decision. The U.S. attorney for Arizona just resigned. And this is a big deal. Now it's one step away from Eric Holder. When did you first know about the program, officially I believe called Fast and Furious? To the best of your knowledge, what date? I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. Yet internal Justice Department documents show that at least 10 months before that hearing, Holder began receiving frequent memos discussing Fast and Furious. They came from the head of the National Drug Intelligence Center and Assistant Attorney General Lanny Brewer. This is his Department of Justice, and there are people who have lost their lives. We have broken countless treaties with our neighbor, Mexico, and we have a hand and responsibility in this violence that has come to the United States. But more importantly, Mexico is our partner. They're not our enemy. And we facilitated guns into the cartels that, are, that have worked to topple the Mexican government. From a law enforcement standpoint, I mean, did this operation make any sense at all? It doesn't. Where, where it came from is this concept when we allow drugs or uh, cash or sometimes a criminal walk. We may watch a, a crime in progress in where we can take lawful action. We allow that criminal to go in an effort to watch it spiderweb and to see how many people we can catch. They use the same concept with weapons. And this is pure insanity. It's never been done before to give weapons like this. And, and their idea was to track the weapons. There was no tracking right. mechanism. Now all these guns are nowhere to be found. And for years, this, this will haunt the conscience of America right